friends, my name is Dilly, and welcome to Juice Box. Have you ever been to church and noticed all the beautiful things inside? Well, I thought it would be so fun if we built some of them out of our magnetic tiles today. Let's get started. Juice Box! <laughs> First, I'm building the church. Not every church looks exactly the same, but they do have a lot of similarities. Traditionally, churches were built in a T-shape, so it looks like a cross from above. The long rectangular space where everyone gathers for Mass is called the nave, and it represents the body of Christ. That's all the people that love and serve God. The inside of churches feel really big to remind us of the grandness of God. They also have tall towers called steeples to point towards heaven. They remind us to look up to God. One of the first things I noticed inside the church was the beautiful colored windows, or stained glass windows. Those windows usually show some kind of story from the Bible, or the story of a saint, or has some kind of special symbolic meaning. When I'm having trouble listening at Mass, I look at the windows and try to figure out what story they're telling. One important stained glass window is the rose window. The rose window is usually at the front of the church, above the altar, and it's made out of small windows that make up one big circle window. Sometimes it looks like it has flower petals. I guess that's why it's called a rose window. One thing that's really hard to miss at a church is the cross. The cross is so important because that's where Jesus suffered and died. That may seem pretty scary and sad, but it's how God showed all his people how much he loves us. By doing that, our sins can be forgiven and we can get to heaven. While looking around the church, I also saw this picture of Jesus with his heart on fire. That's called the Sacred Heart of Jesus. It reminds us of how much Jesus loves us. He loves us so much that his heart is flaming. One of the coolest looking things I saw at church was the monstrance. The monstrance is this big, fancy looking golden vessel. In the middle, there's a consecrated host. That means that the host inside is the real body of Jesus. The monstrance is put out on the altar during adoration, which is when we can go look at it and pray. Thank you for building with me today. I love looking around the church and finding cool things. Next time you go, try to notice something new and maybe even build it at home. Until then, see you next time, friends. Juice Box.